What are you waiting for? Come join the Geek Drums Nation. Geek Drums Nation, what is up, guys? How are you all doing today? I hope everyone is having a great day, a great start to their weekend. Um, as you all may know, yesterday was episode two of Disney Plus's She-Hulk. So let's dive right in. When we picked up in this episode, we picked up basically from the aftermath of her hulking out in the courtroom and saving all the jurors from, you know, Titania. Now, we know Titania, she's a, she's a you know, super human influencer we we know how she's doing all of that she didn't expect anybody to be in that courtroom she just wanted some drama it seemed like and well she got it when she had to face off against the uh the female jade giant um so we're we're dealing with that she hulk is basically a new celebrity now and i kind of like that we we saw in news reports they're saying like oh she showed up out of nowhere she saved all these jurors um even one guy interviewed her and was like he called her a chick hulk and that's when the news reporter was like a she hulk so that name is sticking we see jen does not like that uh you know for she has her own reasons and in today's day and age that type of commentary that's relatable i get it that's relatable but Nevertheless, she has her comic book accurate name, She-Hulk. It's sticking. That's what everybody's calling her. It works. Now, we see her and her friend going out for drinks. She says they don't, they're calling for She-Hulk. They're not calling for Jennifer Walter. So she hulks out. She goes into the bar. <laughs> that, whole, that whole scene was hilarious. I loved every minute of it. The guy from her law firm that she was briefing in the first episode over like her uh, her statement or whatever she was going to do. See, I'm, I, j I have work brain right now, so I'm just trying to get this out. The guy she was working with, he approached her and she was like, he was like, I don't know how you did this or or if this is just a publicity stunt in so many words, yada, yada, yada. Uh, basically saying that, oh, she got superpowers to try to one up him in the courtroom. Basically, basically trying to be be the man if you if you get what i'm trying to say um i thought that was hilarious she basically she shut him down so quick and then he says he sees a a, a pretty girl that he wants to go talk to oh. then we see her boss her boss comes up to her and basically tells her um uh, turn back into Jen for this conversation as soon as she turned back into Jen, she immediately got drunk she felt the effects of all the alcohol and that caught me off guard but i liked it i didn't think it would happen like that i but I guess what happens in her Hulk body, whatever she does, those effects are going to happen to her human body. Now, that does beg the question. All the alcohol they consumed in the very first episode, she kept, I, I believe she transformed back into Jen then. Did she feel it at that point in time? Or is that just something new that just randomly happened? I don't know. Is that a plot hole? I don't know. I'm not going to think of it like that because I'm enjoying the writing right now. Uh, her boss is telling her in so many words, you're fired. And then we go on a montage of her not being able to get jobs, not being able to find a job because they don't want that type of uh, publicity. They don't want that type of press. They don't want anything to do with She-Hulk. And I, I felt bad for her in that moment. Honestly, I felt really bad for her. GLKH, they approach her. They want her. But they don't want Jennifer Walters. They want She-Hulk. And they want her to represent different superhumans. And the one superhuman that they do want her to represent is Emil Blonsky. The abomination. Yes, the abomination that we saw way back in 2008's Incredible Hulk. The abomination that we saw in the post credit Well, not post credit scene. And, the, uh, and you know, his little cameo in Shang-Chi. Not post credit the cameo. I have work brain. But before we jump right there, did you guys see one? When her and her friend were sitting in her apartment. Did you see? Did you see? Did you see on her phone? First of all, she has Captain America's butt on her phone. She is in love with that man, and it's honestly hilarious. Two, uh, when you go to this, when you look at the, um, the news reports that are on her computer screen, one, you see that they have Iron Man 3s coming out. Hilarious. I guarantee you Peter has a pair. We see a news report talking about the giant statue sticking out of the ocean. Finally, a call back to the Eternals. And the one that caught me off guard the most, but I love it, a man with claws fights in a bar. Is that the confirmation of Wolverine being in the MCU? And why didn't she immediately react to that? If I would have seen that, I'm like, oh, I need to find this guy. I, I want to see what this guy is about. But that's just me. So she calls up Bruce. After all of this, she calls up Bruce. I'm skipping back. I'm skipping back to when she found uh, 
to, to when she got the job. She calls Bruce. Uh, she tells him what what's going on, you know, basically telling him that she's taking the job, but she's not trying to offend him in any way. And he's just like, that was a long time ago. That was a different lifetime ago. I'm not even the same person. Literally, finally, finally, finally addressing the fact that he that Hulk was recast before the Avengers film and that he is not the same person that played Bruce Banner. That was Edward Norton. I thought that was hilarious. It's about time they acknowledge that. I honestly never thought that they would acknowledge it, but it's pretty cool. Will we get a Terrence Howard, Don Cheadle type acknowledgement anytime soon in Armor Wars, in Ironheart? That would be hilarious. Uh, so she goes to meet with Emil, and he's basically, I guess it's an insanity plea. Because, I mean, in his, in, in basically what he was saying is it wasn't his fault. They pumped him full of a drug that he thought would have turned him into basically captain america 2.0 he thought he was serving his country to stop a monster but this monster gets praised as a hero i didn't know how to feel in that moment what do you guys think do you think he's being sincere or do you think he just wants to get out i mean obviously wong sees something in him if he's you know breaking him out to fight in underground fight clubs and we also in that moment get the tie-in to the cameo scene in shang chi because she hulk takes takes place after shang chi I saw there was some confusion online. She-Hulk indeed takes place after Shang-Chi. They didn't say that that footage was released. It was leaked. Somebody in the underground fight club leaked that footage. It was not supposed to be posted. When you're doing a fight club, you know the number one rule. And then also, that's an Edward Norton film. You don't talk about fight club. Well, somebody talked about fight club. Somebody just made Jin's job 100% harder. And I'm here for that. Now, before I end this review, I also want to bring up uh, Jen's family, the family dinner. Hilarious. That was hilarious because she couldn't get a word in edgewise. Like, just, she couldn't get a word in. They were asking her so many questions. Her dad, who is like literally the sitcom dad of the 80s and the 90s, her dad was like, does Hawkeye go around picking up his arrows? And we know if you've watched the Hawkeye series, he does go back and collect them. Uh, her mom basically saying that this guy, oh, he's never heard of you. Well, duh, he's never heard of her. She just became She-Hulk a week ago. Uh, this guy or whatever talking about he wants to become a hero. She gave out her number. She gave out uh, Jen's number. That was hilarious. I love her family. I want to see more of her family. A lot of people may not, but just small bursts of her home life. You know, just seeing more of that banner uh, Walter's family dynamic. I'd love to see them interact with Bruce at some point. Speaking of Bruce, when we do see Bruce, he's in a spaceship. He's headed back to Sakaar. Now, is he going to find out if he has a son there? Are we about to get World War Hulk? I don't know. Mark Ruffalo did kind of tease it, but he's not spoiling anything. We all know how him and Tom Holland are with spoilers. They suck at them. So, he's being tight-lipped. Maybe we'll find out something at D23. Maybe they worked out something with Universal. Who knows? But I'm looking forward to it. I'm not saying it is happening, but I'm not saying it isn't happening. But we may be getting World War Hulk, and that scene set it up perfectly because he is definitely in that Sakarian ship, and he's on his way back to see what's up, what they want. Now, when he, get, when he gets there, they're probably going to look at the man like, who are you? You aren't the same Hulk. Will we get Savage Hulk back? I don't think so because, well, the Hulk evolved. I don't want them to, dem you know, just completely erase all of that character development. But we got to we gotta wait and see what happens, right? So um, if you continued watching through the credits, you know we got a post credit scene. Jen just basically doing all the work around the house that her dad <laughs> was either too lazy to do or just didn't have any hope to do. Just seeing her bringing all those waters, lifting up the car so they could change the tire. It was hilarious. The comedy in this show is great. Uh, they dialed it back some in this episode, which I appreciated. It wasn't as cringy and campy as it was in the very first episode. This episode was definitely better. Uh, 8.5 out of 10 for me. Um, only took off a few points because it felt extremely short. I know these episodes are about 30 minutes, but this episode felt significantly shorter. But I'm looking forward to next week, and I will be back next week with another review. So remember, if you want to support this channel, you can hit me via Cash App. 
uh, is down at the bottom of the screen, Ringo 2016. Uh, please like this video, share it. If you don't have the alerts toned out, but if you don't have the alerts turned on, excuse me, please do so. Share this video and uh, hit my comment section. Let me know what you thought about this episode. Let's remember. My personal live stream will be up on Mondays around 5, so jump in there. And, uh, and uh, I'll catch you guys Saturday at the after party.